it didn't take too long to hear, literally hear a voice in my head telling me, you know, you're worthless, and to the point where I started entertaining the thoughts of suicide. Because it's definitely, once you're in that dark place, it's, oh, it's a tough place to come, come out of. Um, they don't really know how deep it is until you're actually in it. I'd become very withdrawn, wouldn't talk to people. I'd have massive self-doubt. You know, so I was like, constantly doubting whether I was good enough to be refereeing. I felt reasonably just sad and loopy and just felt like I wasn't, wasn't coping very well and just not happy. I was just doing it because I had to. When you have an issue, it's, it can seem overbearing at times. It's like a big cloud over your head that you're trying to ignore and you're getting rained on every day, but you're just, you know, you're just ignoring it. I definitely think it's uh, people see it as a sign of weakness, being able, uh, you know, being, being able to ask for help, uh, and especially in a sport where we, it's a physical sport, so you're expected to be able to handle things, you know. Just being able to speak about it, because holding it inside is not going to help. Um, definitely, it's not going to help. You go through a lot of dark times if you keep it to yourself. So, the main point for me is just, you know, express yourself you willing to open up and tell somebody about it. Well, I think back on it and it's crazy, but I, I should have gone and spoken to someone because that, um, that was the only way I started feeling a bit better was actually starting to voice stuff. As soon as you share that with someone that you trust, it's like that cloud, the power that that cloud has over you goes away. There's always somebody, somebody around that will be happy to talk to you. If you're going through a rough patch, and you just got to find find somebody, and you got to make the effort first because not everybody's going to come to you to to make sure you're okay. When you actually put your hand up and go, "I need help," um, it takes a massive weight off your shoulder. Our mental health, how we think and how we feel, is an essential part of our overall health and well-being. But we don't talk about it much. The reality is, one in five of us New Zealanders will struggle with some sort of mental health or wellbeing issue at some stage in our lives. As Kiwis, we have one of the highest suicide rates in the world. Whether we play sevens or fifteens. Whether we're men or women. Watching the game or refereeing the game. We all have challenges we face. So whether it's you, a mate or a family member. Feeling down, anxious or finding things tough. You are not alone. There is help out there. People you can talk to and ways to make things better. I'm talking about it. 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 And I'm talking about it. <laughs>